Here's how to set up a class notebook that you can use for lesson plans. Now, as you go through this, when you are in OneNote, uh, through this process, they talk about the teachers and students. And in our case, the teachers are going to be the administrators, the principals or whoever is going to be checking lesson plans. The students will actually be the teachers. So when OneNote talks about students, just translate that to mean that's your teachers. They're students in this class notebook. So first we want to create a class notebook. So you open OneNote, whether you're in uh, Mac or Windows, either one, and you'll click this class notebook uh, here uh, for the tab headings. And then click create class notebook. Uh, you'll have to sign in to your school OneNote account. Then it asks you the name of your class. Okay, so it's automatically, uh, so you just give it some type of name. So in this case, I'm going to say this is elementary lesson plans. And I'm going to give it a year as well because you'll probably want a new notebook each year that you do this. So do that, click Next, and then it gives you this. This is just a confirmation page. It says that it's going to create it, and you will have these sections. The collaboration space, places where students and teachers can work together, so you can edit content, the students can edit the content, they can put pages there, they can uh, work together on something, so this might be something that's helpful for you. The content library, you can edit, you can put pages there, but the teachers can read it, but they can't change it. They can view it, they can copy it to their own notebooks. And then each teacher will have his own student notebook. This is visible only to you and to the individual teacher. They can't see each other's notebooks. And you can view it, you can also edit it. And we'll talk about that uh, shortly, about what you can do with that. So you, that's just to confirm it. Then click Next. At this page, you can give another teacher permission. So it might be that you say, well, uh, we want both the principals to be able to view these or something like that. So you can give somebody else permission to be a teacher in this class. Uh, and they'll have all the rights that you have to be able to add and that type of thing. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you can do it later. Uh, so you can click Next. You can type your students' names, uh, if, and they need to be people who are already in the system uh, for the teachers. So you can do that now. You can do it later if you want. So we're just going to skip that and go on Next. Now, this shows you kind of the default sections they do, and this is intended uh, to be with a school setting where you actually have real students and not teachers as students. Uh, these are sections they would typically have, and my suggestion would be these don't quite work in the, for the structure that we're doing. So I'm just going to delete each of those, and instead I'm going to add a section here called lesson plans. And in fact, to make it easier to organize for you and for the teachers, I'm going to say lesson plans Q1, lesson plans Q2, lesson plans Q3, and lesson plans Q4. If you want to put them all in one year, that's fine. But uh, uh, anyway, that's just so these are just suggestions for how you can set it up. So you click Next, and then it shows you what it's going to look like. Your notebook, the teacher's notebook, you'll have a welcome page, the collaboration space, the content library, and then underneath this, we didn't add any students, underneath that you will see all of your students' names here. You can see what the student's notebook is going to look like. They will have a welcome page. They'll have their collaboration space, the content library, and then these different sections. So if you say, yeah, that's what I want it to look like, you click Create, and it will uh, create that. OK, it talks here about the class notebook add-in. If you're running a Mac, you already have it. If you're running Windows 10, you already have it. Uh, so you don't need to do anything with that. Um, but that that's just 
makes it so that you can do these things with it. Uh, so we say, okay, so you're done with this. So you click here and say, open in OneNote. They said it's ready, so you can open it in OneNote. So you click that, and then after that goes away, you can close this. And then here is your lesson plan notebook. So it starts opening it up, and here is your view. Uh, you have welcome pages you can watch, and here's a video you can watch. This will give a little bit more explanation about some things than what we have here. Uh, some things you can do, uh, how you can work things out. So these are some things that might be helpful to you. Uh, one note for teachers. Uh, these are some things that you may want to go through. Um, some resources. One note for students. These are things that your teachers. This will be giving. This will be addressed to the teachers. This is how they will be doing things. Uh, some one note basics. Um, some FAQs, and then here is your collaboration section. Uh, the collaboration space, the content library. Now, one more thing you want to do, though, uh, to finish setting it up. Go up here to Manage Notebooks. So we click that, and you want to find the notebook that you just created. I mean, I've, I have done a lot of notebooks over time, so there's a bunch listed. But here's the one I just created, Elementary Lesson Plans. And what I want to click here is Enable Teacher Only Section Group. So you click that. What that does, it creates a section in your notebook, not in everybody's notebook, in your notebook, where you can put materials that only you can see. You may want to use this, for example, if you're designing a lesson plan template that you want to distribute to the teachers. You put that in your teacher only section group and then when you've got it finished you can then distribute that to all the teachers so I would suggest that you check this to enable the teacher only section group so then you can close that and it will eventually show up over here so that you would see a teacher only section so that's the initial things as far as setting up your notebook uh, when you want to, for example, when you want to add students later, remember we skipped over that, you just pick the notebook that you want to add to, and then you add their uh, names. Uh, and like I say, they have to be in our school directory. But that's how you'll add the teacher's names when you get to that. So that's what you need to know to set up the OneNote notebook.